What is up? What is up? What is up? FS Club Monday, and we got a lot of mods to go over today, guys. Okay, here we go. For the all platforms, new mods for today, guys. We got the Bergman TSW 6240W. Uh, we also got the Seasons Geo for Central Texas, uh, Devon, and Balkan. That was for all platforms. Also, we got updates for all platforms, which was the Ponzi Scorpion King, uh, the Roto Arm, the New Holland T6, the Bunker Silo, the Small Bunker Silo set, and the Euro Tunnel Pack. On PC, PC only, new mods the Dutch Agrostar 661 Rebuild, the MVU Fertilizer Spreaders, Tool Height Control for Harvester, the Ford Speed Limiter, the HTZ T150K. The KPS4 500. Actually, the KPS4, sorry. Also, for PC updates, these are PC only updates. The Bell Chipper, uh, the McCormick MC115, 120, 135, the Info Message HUD, and the Dagenhurt Ballast Tank. So that's all that. Okay, let's get to those new mods, guys. Okay, first one. This is the only all platform new mod, guys, besides, of course, the Geos. And this is the Bergman TSW6240W. Uh, this thing is 21 slots on console. It is 92,500. It holds up to 25,000 liters. And of course, what this is, this is a manure spreader. Really, really nice manure spreader. There it is right there. Where you can find it at? Let's go over here. Let's go under manure spreaders. And at the very end, there it is right there. It does require 160 horsepower. Has a width, a spread width of 24 meters. You can also hook up the Echo 650 on it. And also, it also does lime, guys. It does lime, too. So that's good. A 24 meter lime spreader, 25,000 liters. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's go over here. You change the main color to anything you want. Change the rim color to anything you want. Wheel branch, you have Trailborg, Michelin. Uh, wheel setup, you have standard or wide tires or wide tires. So there is that one. That is the only, only console new mod besides the Geos today. Okay, PC new mods, guys. First one we have is a new tractor. This is the Dutch Agristar 661 Rebuilt. $32,000. It is a small tractor, and this thing is nice, guys. This thing is awesome. I like this thing. All right, let's get inside of one real quick. Uh, let me turn on these real quick. As you guys can see, there is no special options on this one. Kind of don't get why this one isn't on consoles. But anyways... Uh, let's go inside. Here is the interior. Really nice. Uh, let's turn on some lights. As you guys can see, there's the lights right there. Nice. Turn signals. Turn signals. There is no beacons lights on these. Lights inside. Let's see. Everything lights up, as you guys can see. Really nice lights. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, that engine sound right there. Nice. Like everything moves like it's supposed to move. Oh, actually, okay, yeah, that moves. I was making sure. Those engine sounds are nice. 27 miles an hour is the top speed on it. And then this this engine shut off, shut off sound is nice too. Listen to this. Oh, nice. Okay, where you can find this one. Let's go over here. Let's go under small tractors. And all the way at the end, there it is right there. Uh, let's see. Go inside. We got green, orange, looks like gray, yellow, red, or black. You got a fun front attacher setup. You got standard, 95 kilogram, 170, 245, 320, 395. And as you guys can see, they don't cost a thing. They're completely free. Uh, 470, 545. And then the front lifter arm. Which does cost 800. Wheel brand, you have Trailborg Midas. Trailborg, you have original wheels, alternative base wheels, with connector, narrow twin wheels, uh, twin wheels, wide tires, huge wheels, and then the original wheels. Design, you have the old cab DX decals, old cab uh, Aerostar decals, you have the new cab, and then back to the regular again. Uh, design, you have default fenders, you have no fenders, you have fenders uh, back small. Uh, you have uh, fenders back wide, you have fenders uh, front back wide, and then back to default engine, you have the 661, which is 143. You have the increased, which is 160, so all you go to 160. And you have a front loader attached, you have the horror or none. 
So there is that one. Really, really nice tractor. Okay, next thing we got, this is a fertilizer spreader, guys. This is the MVU fertilizer spreader. Uh, $7,000 holds 1,200 liters. Uh, really, really small one right here. But nice for those small farmers. Where you can find this one, let's go over here. Let's go under fertilizer technology. And there it is right there. It does require 50 horsepower. It does have a spread of 24 meters. And this only does fertilizer. Uh, you have main color either black or red and then extension 900 or 1200 okay so there is that one next one another tractor yes this is the htz t150k this is thirty thousand one hundred and fifty dollars it is a medium-sized tractor really really nice it looks like a russian kind of tractor right here but anyways let's get inside so here is the inside right here it's kind of weird driving on this side of the tractor all right, let's turn this on. Let's see if we have anything special on it. Horn. Okay, what's this? Okay, ooh, that actually lifts that. That's cool. Wow, okay. Okay, so let's turn on the lights. So there's only two sets of lights on here. Turn signals work. And of course, this one don't have a beacon either. Okay, there's, okay, there's turn signal back there. Okay, lights also light up on the dashboard. Let's turn it on. Whoa, that's a that's a weird sound right there. Sounds like a lawnmower, a weed eater. All right, there we go. And this is, of course, an articulated tractor. Top speed is 20 miles an hour. It's kind of nice. It's, it's really different. Looks like everything works. Yeah, this thing is definitely different. Oh yeah, let's bring it back over here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Park that thing right there. Wow. I think it takes a minute to turn off like wearing down okay where you can find this one let's go over tractors let's go to medium tractors and at the very end there it is right there it is 165 horsepower uh, you can change the rim color got like green red blue dark blue white same thing with that and same thing with the colors you got dark blue blue red and green will brand you have the comma uh bell sheena you have standard standard twin wheels twin wheels and standard you have equipment selection, you have standard, conditioner, uh, you have hood panel, no or yes. Uh, you have uh, selection hydraulics, you have the three point or the tow bar. Number plate, you have the 2901, uh, the 2902, 2902 decals. So that basically just changes the decals on it and that is it on that one. Pretty nice little tractor. Okay, the last mod for PC guys. This is the KPS four this thing runs ranges from 500 to 1700 dollars and what this is this is almost like that one mod we got on consoles too where you know you put this thing on there and you get like two cultivators or whatever and you hook them all together i'm pretty sure most people know what it is actually this one looks like it can hold one two yeah this one can hold three so this one can hold three of those and then this one how many can this one thing hold one two three four Ooh, five this thing can hold five wow at least i'm pretty sure this thing can hold five that's really nice okay where you can find these at let's go under here let's go under cultivators where are you at cultivators 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 there they are and there they are. There's the, there's the one attachments right there. This one requires 110. This one requires 220. This one's 500 and 800. As you guys can see, the width, 8 meters for this one. And this one is double at 16 meters. And this thing, of course, is what goes with it originally. This is uh, requires 75 horsepower, and this is 4 meters. Uh, so basically, let's see. So 4, 8, 12, so 16. So this thing can have 4 of those. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Let me actually get one more of those real quick. Um, let's go over here. Let's get one more. 
Okay, here we are. They are hooked up. Let's actually buy a piece of land real quick. Let's just buy this one. There we go. Okay, look at this thing right here. <laughs> that thing is awesome. There is actually not one, not two, not three, but four. Four 16 meter cultivator right here. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's actually go over here. See, the actually required horsepower for this thing would be about what? Uh, let's go over there. About about 200 or something like that. About two, two to 300. I don't know if this thing is going to do any good with it. Okay, let's try to figure out how do we... Oh, okay, so you actually have to unfold each one. Okay, so let's unfold. Oops. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, now these are all... Hopefully these are all down now. They look down. Okay, they're not... Oh, yeah, they are. That one's down, not the other ones. Yeah, let's... Oops, that's down. Nope. Okay, that's down. I think that's down. I think they're all down. Yeah, look at that. Nice. This is a what? A tractor that's how many horsepower did I say it was? This thing's not even. This thing's like 143 horsepower right here. We're using. And it's not really pulling too too bad actually. Look at that. Okay, now the question is, what happens if I try to fold that thing up? Is it gonna let me? No, I don't think it's gonna let me. It shouldn't, right? Oh, it is. <laughs> Don't fold it up whenever they're still connected. That is our lesson for today, guys. <laughs> okay, that is all the new mods for today, guys. Let me know which one is your guys' favorite. I'm really liking that thing right there. I like the tractor, and of course, I like the Bergman. Let me know. Also, with the Bergman, guys, when you guys hook it up, this thing right here folds, so you'd be able to put manure in there a lot easier. So that's pretty good. Okay, like always, make sure you guys pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do it like always. Have an all-state farmers. Peace.